Hey guys, Jeff here with the Common Sense Camper. Hey, I thought I'd share uh, another fire technique with you. Uh, and I'm, I'm sure you guys, for you new guys, you've seen this on TV, where you have a guy who takes a char cloth 10, pulls out a piece of char cloth, strikes it with a ferro rod or flint and steel, and he throws it into this nice little bird nest and starts a fire. Well, unless you are in an area where you have birch bark or something uh, natural tender, uh, a lot of guys use jute twine, including myself. I, I love jute twine uh, and char cloth. It works really well. Now, a little hint on char cloth. You can use an Altoids tin. When you make char cloth, basically all you're doing is you're taking something that's 100% cotton. You're putting it in some type of metal container, whether it's an Altoids tin. Uh, this was a, I don't even remember what that was. It might have been a spice container. And you're going to close off the oxygen to it and just throw it right on a nice hot fire. And you cannot over char char cloth. So if you, th you don't think it's been long enough that it's been in there, just leave it in there. It's not going to hurt anything. You're not going to over burn char cloth. Now one of my favorite uh, materials to use for char cloth is not cotton t-shirts or bandanas. A lot of guys use that. I found that when you char bandanas or t-shirts they're thin and when you're done and you you go to you know pick it up or or place it in a, a bird's nest a lot of times it'll pull apart really easily almost it almost turn into like a fine dust so what I use is a hundred percent cotton washcloths or dish towels and when you cut them uh, I cut that maybe a half inch bigger and wider than what it is right now. It doesn't shrink as much as like a t-shirt or a bandana, and it's a lot sturdier. I mean, and, and when you strike a, a ferro rod on this, it takes off like right now. So uh, as long as you get that spark on a, a charred piece of dishcloth or bath towel, washcloth, if you will, uh, it'll take off right away. So... Now, back to the bird nest. So how, how do you do this? Uh, I've seen a lot of guys uh, out in the field that, you know, take jute twine and they make a bird nest out of it. Now, one of the things about this is, you, first of all, you want just jute twine. You don't want anything with nylon or any, you know, anything fancy. Just cheap, old jute twine. You can buy it at any hardware store, and it's very inexpensive. I think this was a dollar for the whole roll. And but it's wound up, and obviously, you can't just take this and roll it up into a bundle and start a fire with it. There's not enough surface area. So, the easiest way I found to make jute twine into these bird nests is you're going to take a piece of this, and you're going to cut it off, and you don't want to make it real long because I'm going to show you why, why you don't want to make it really long. But in essence, on, on this particular jute twine, there's three strands that hold this together. So you're going to unroll that. You're going to find the three strands. And you're going to separate those. Now, if you, if you can, try and locate the one in the middle and put it in your mouth. And you're just going to take the other two and slowly pull it. All right, so... Now you've, you've pulled that out, and it'll start to come apart in pieces. Now, you're still not at this point yet. So all you're going to do is you're going to take your knife. It helps if your knife has a 90-degree spine on it. And what you're going to do is you're, sorry, the battery's going dead. You're going to take a piece of it like this, maybe a couple inches long, and you're just going to pull it through. All right? And you're just going to do that over and over and over again. And I won't do a whole bundle just for the sake of keeping this video short. But you're going to do that over and over again. And you could take about a two foot piece, a foot and a half piece. And you do this. And you're going to end up with a really nice bird's nest. Now that's just one single strand out of the, the three. So you put that together, you know, and... That's about a two and a half foot piece right there. And you can definitely start a fire with that. So hopefully that's helpful. This is Jeff with the Common Sense Camper, camping out.